We got that easy access door here. We're going to put a new window on, but before we mow more, we're going to put this product on the front of our mower called a rock block. Not to be confused with a uh... uh, fluffy pillow block. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to put this on and then we're going to get that window on and then I'm going to go mow again after it gets done raining two inches in the next three days. All right. So we just sprayed the cattle, just uh, get, keeping flies off them, helping them feel good, reducing pink eye and like Dad said, we're going to put the rock block on, and then we bailed yesterday, and we're going to pick up those bales. So that's the deal. Got a little fixing to do on the baler, too. Hmm. Thank you to my son Robbie at Lancota for getting it out to us so quick, but also for uh, Rock Block for working with Robbie to get it sent out right away and we got her on before now we can get that. I think our window's in, we just got a call and pick that up today and then we'll be ready to do ditches again. But like I said, good chance of rain the next three days, so we'll let that go through and then we'll start back at it. Unless the ditches are full of water mm -hmm. and then we won't. Go. I drove by some ditches today over at South Farm. There's some grass in there. Yeah. We got some grass. We're going to get to it. What? Got about 28, 26 bales yesterday. 26 bales yesterday. Out of those ditches, and we probably have more than that left. Another 35 or 40 maybe. That's so a big deal. That's about two semi-loads, so that's about $8,000. When you become a big successful farmer like Brian, you get your own personal hey. fan. Since I have the camera back on me, I just wanted to show this so people can see what the... You know the company's logo looks like if they're looking for that type of thing you got your your guy in your full armor and the rock block you so. got your rock and your block yeah and in that order rock block grapes please yep you want cheese with that wine Coming. Oh. Dad's gonna take that semi, which is already full of corn, and get it cracked in town just for our feeding here at home. Then after lunch, we're gonna get that 7520 out. I'm gonna follow Dad around with the pickup and bale trailer, and we'll load up that ditch hay that we made yesterday. Bring it over to my place. We'll be grinding hay tomorrow, and we got some old corn stalks that are over here, and they need to get over there, so we'll be moving some bales. It'll just be a couple trips. Also, you can see there's a lot of folks hanging out right here trying to get a drink. Uh, and then with everyone on the farm drinking right now, we're pulling a lot of water, and it's not filling this very fast. So I'm going to take that, throw it over here, and fill, get that filling for them. Just make it life a little easier for these guys on this hot, humid day. Not 
not much water pressure. So all these corn stalks here are two year old stuff. Just these four rows. And then everything you're looking at right there, we didn't make, dad had to buy because, well, you know. Well, dad's back and he's already leaving me so i'm just gonna follow him around so otherwise he would have had to hook and unhook constantly or unhook once and drive a long ways to the bale trailer so this will be a efficient way to do it These approaches help a lot, give him a good flat place to drive through to be able to dump a bale up on the trailer. So we're bringing all these bales to my place because of the simple fact that there's trash in them. This is a aluminum can. If you were to put this through a grinder, it would break it into small pieces and then those cows could eat the small pieces. They're not gonna eat something like this. And over at my place, we don't grind hay, we just feed it in a bale, so we don't have to worry about that. Feed it in a bale feeder is what I mean. Whole bales, not grinding. Yum. So since we didn't have anything in the hay yard at my place, we've just been grazing it. We drove by and dad said, that's funny. I have never seen these gates closed before in his entire life. This one's hinged though, it's pretty fancy.
he give me the camera, so I thought I'd do the song of the day. It's by Trace Atkins, and it's called Just Fishing, and it reminds me of my granddaughters, so that's the song of the day. There's some warmth out here. Yeah. We just got a call that the door hasn't even shipped yet, so we're not gonna be cutting for a few days. My salvage company picked up the full box and they rolled off another one at my place. I got some junk in the trunk, actually just around my yard, and we're going to use this payloader and see if we can clean it up a little bit. Years ago, this antenna was on the blue house and we had a big storm. Well, that's actually the big storm that blew our entire home farm down. So then we just threw it in this fence line and been mowing around it, but now we can get rid of it today. Maybe you don't want a story with everything I pick up, but this next item, it's a fun one. This green thing right here, it's a swing set my brother and his then girlfriend, now wife, bought that they were gonna fix up. They set it right there and now I get to deal with it. That was like six years ago. Got so much enjoyment out of it.
last item is this bale feeder that the cattle ripped apart this last spring. nice and cleaned up a lot of that stuff's been annoying me for months and years like we've mentioned we got a couple good chances of rain over the next four days hope that comes keeps these pastures green keeps our cows fed and then after that we got a couple things to hay eventually that third cutting of alfalfa um, and also a bunch of ditches thank you all for watching we really appreciate it love to see you next time have a good one I think there's a raccoon back there. You guys want to let me know? <laughs>